in a tiny beige-colored cubicle, on the ground floor of an unremarkable suburban office block in Pasadena, California. History is made every day. This is the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's mission control for NASA's Voyager spacecrafts. You can tell that from a homemade cardboard sign beneath the computer monitors that reads, Voyager mission critical hardware please do not touch. This unlikely setup is the control center for one of the most ambitious and frankly, audacious missions in human history. Over the past 40 years, the two Voyager spacecrafts have explored all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They have sent back detailed views of these strange worlds, revealing moons that are bejeweled with icy glaciers, peppered with volcanoes and immersed in gasoline smog. The missions have changed our perspective on Earth and ourselves, with golden gramophone records attached to their sides that have taken the essence of human culture to the stars. Remarkably, both Voyager spacecrafts are still working. That was until a scare last week, when NASA lost all contact with Voyager 2 due to an error in commands. But now Voyager 2 has proved that its time has not yet come. After scientists thought all hope was lost for Voyager 2, a faint signal, a heartbeat of sorts, was detected from the spacecraft yesterday. Orbit. Beyond the Blue. Launched in 1977, the spacecraft visited several planets in the outer solar system before tickling the outer fringes of the heliosphere, a protective bubble-like region of space that surrounds the Sun and shields us from harmful radiation pouring in from interstellar space. Voyager 1 passed the heliosphere in 2012, while its twin did the same in 2018, the gap being the result of Voyager 2 having a slower speed and alternate direction. An onboard scientific instrument failed early during the Voyager 1 mission, making it less reliant on power than Voyager 2. Last week operators of the Voyager 2 spacecraft sent a series of commands that inadvertently caused the distant probe to point its antenna slightly away from Earth. As a result, NASA had lost contact with the spacecraft, which is nearly half a century old and presently 19.9 billion kilometers away from the planet. More than a week after accidentally cutting off communications with the Voyager 2 probe, NASA officials heard a hopeful signal that may allow them to re-establish contact with the interstellar traveller months ahead of schedule. Was it human error, which meant that the signal was lost? Um, yeah, we, uh, we had been generating some commands and we needed to make an update. And unfortunately, what happened is we, we grabbed the old command instead of the updated command. And the old command was, uh, had a, the offset in the pointing um, and so it, it was a bit of a mistake on our part. Um, they don't happen frequently, and they don't even happen frequently in, after 46 years, but it, it, is, it is part of the business. And um, we do know that the spacecraft is, has a heartbeat in this case in, in, by seeing the uh, carrier. And so we're optimistic that we will uh, get the spacecraft realigned. If not, during this commanding that we're going to try uh, later this week, there's also onboard fall protection, an onboard routine mm. that will, uh, in the middle of October, uh, execute a turn to point to Earth. So we may have to wait till the middle of October before we hear back from Voyager 2. Um, but uh, it's good to know by listening to this uh, signal that it's, it's okay. On August 1. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Twitter account confirmed that engineers had received a transmission called a carrier signal from Voyager 2, which is currently cruising beyond the edge of the solar system more than 12.3 billion miles from Earth. A bit like hearing the spacecraft's hotbeat, it confirms the spacecraft is still broadcasting, which engineers expected. JPL officials tweeted, this heartbeat signal indicated that Voyager 2 is still functioning even after a series of planned operations in July accidentally angled the probe's antenna about two degrees away from Earth, all but cutting off communications between Voyager and NASA's deep space network. 
the international array of radio antennas that support NASA's interplanetary missions. With the heartbeat confirmed, NASA will next try and send a command back to Voyager 2 to coax the probe into angling its antenna back toward Earth. Typically, it takes about 18.5 hours for a command to reach Voyager 2, and another 18.5 hours for Earth to receive a transmission back from the probe, according to Scientific American. So we may know its fate in the next two days. Voyager 2 and its twin Voyager 1 were launched into space in August and September 1977, respectively, 16 days apart from one another. Both probes shot past the outer solar system planets before venturing onward toward the edge of the heliosphere, the outermost layer of the Sun's atmosphere, which separates our solar system from interstellar space. At 12 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2 is so far that it takes more than 22 hours for NASA's signals to reach the probe. With its power gradually diminishing, mission planners thought they might have to shut down one of its five scientific instruments by next year, until a newly implemented plan resulted in a welcome delay. A recent adjustment, in which the probe redirects a tiny amount of power meant for an onboard safety system, means all five scientific instruments aboard Voyager 2 can stay active until 2026, according to a NASA Jet Propulsion Lab press release. Generators on both probes lose power each year, as the result of a continual decay process. This hasn't affected their science gathering, but mission planners have had to turn off heaters and other non-essential systems to compensate for the ongoing power loss. For Voyager 2, it was getting to the stage where one science instrument needed to be turned off soon, as early as next year. As a result of the newly implemented hack, Voyager 2 is now using a small amount of backup power provisioned for an onboard safety mechanism designed to protect the craft from potentially damaging voltage spikes. The probe be stealing some of this juice, not a lot, to keep all five of its science instruments on. Both probes currently have enough power and fuel to last until at least 2025, according to NASA. Following this, they will become two of the most expensive record players of all time, carrying copies of the famous Voyager Golden Record, a double-sided collection of songs and sounds meant to encapsulate the natural and musical heritage of Earth for any audiophile aliens who happen upon them. Both probes also contain a music player with pictorial instructions and a map of Earth's location relative to a handful of ultra-bright quasars for aliens eager to hear what sounds we Earthlings have cooked up since the 1970s. One of the greatest achievements in spaceflight history just got an extension. And for that we should all be profoundly grateful. It's incredible. But after all these years NASA is still able to squeeze some added life from these pioneering probes, which have shown time and again that they have unfinished business left to do. Orbit. Beyond the Blue.